Hey everyone, we're uh, Ryan and I are gonna head out on the Teton Crest Trail. We're just leaving, where'd we leave? We left uh, Teton Canyon. We got 2.7 miles up the Alaska Basin Trail. And then we're gonna cut off and head up the uh, double staircase so that we can connect onto the Teton Crest Trail and uh, do about a 25 mile lap down to Teton Pass. And basically it's probably some of the best walking in the galaxy. Um, it's really an, an amazing alpine walk. So we're heading down the, uh, we're heading down the Alaska Basin Trail right now. And uh, we'll talk to you in a little bit. So we're gonna head down the Alaska Basin Trail and, until it uh, breaks off with uh, the ascent of the uh, Devil Staircase. So uh, here we go, you can see Ryan there cruising in the background. And uh, so we just got a little flat cruise up the valley here for about a mile until we hit the cutoff. All right, here we go. So we're moving up Teton Canyon and you can see the hills behind us are, you know, they're starting to get pretty cool. And valley is opening up way down in the, uh, at the uh, headwaters there of the Teton River. So uh, cruise, still have a little bit more to cruise up to uh, the junction with uh, the Double Staircase Trail. Okay, so we just came up Teton Canyon, following up Teton Creek. We didn't gain too much elevation over the last 2.7 miles. We came up the Alaska Basin Trail. We're now at the intersection with the Devil Staircase. We're gonna take a sip and a crumb, and then we're gonna be paying for our sins because uh, they don't call it the Devil Staircase for nothing. All right, check in with you in a bit. Up on the double staircase and getting up through the cliff band, getting ready to uh, get up on the shelf. Uh, it's pretty dramatic up here. The, uh, the terrain is pretty impressive looking down into Teton Canyon. Right. Yeah. So Devil's Staircase might be straight up, although it gets you above the valley in a hurry and uh, views are opening up quite nicely.
So we're up at uh, just just over 9,000 feet above the double staircase. We're up on this big plateau. You can see the uh, Tetons um, in the back here, uh, which are looking pretty spectacular from this vantage point. And then uh, we're gonna be working our way all the way up to uh, Mount Meek Pass up there. And uh, you can see the terrain is really starting to open up up here. It's really quite gorgeous. So we just, uh, we just descended about a little over 1800 feet uh, over two miles. And so it's, uh, it's pretty steep. It's, uh, it's not horrible, but it's, uh, it's definitely a put your head down and uh, get it done kind of a job. It's uh, well worth it once you get up here. So once we get up through the pass, we'll be up on the Death Canyon shelf and uh, terrain will be opening up even more, so stay tuned. So we're at Mount Meek Pass, that's Past, we are literally straddling the uh, Jedediah Smith Wilderness and dun, 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 where is it? Grand Teton National Park. Um, So we're up here on the Death Canyon shelf 
and uh, in Grand Teton National Park you can see the terrain is just absolutely spectacular and uh, it just kind of goes and goes and goes and goes and uh, right there there's the uh, Teton the Grand the middle south Teton all the way back there in the distance um, trail walking is actually pretty uh, it's, it's beautiful alpine uh, meadow walking and uh, with mild elevation once you get up here so after you pay for your sins on the double staircase it's uh it's kind of smooth sailing enjoy the views Not quite to, not quite to Fox Creek Pass. So we're just kind of poking along here, making decent time. It's, uh, it's getting toward dinner time though, so getting a little hungry. And uh, yeah, it's nice light. Train's beautiful. Feeling pretty good. We are in Fox Creek Pass right now, and um, so Fox Creek Pass, we've got uh, Death Canyon on that side of us, Grand Teton National Park, and uh, you can see the Death Canyon shelf behind us. So we're going to cruise on along, heading over to Marion Lake, see if we can get there before sunset. Just coming out of Fox Creek Pass, and that's uh, Fossil Mountain uh, behind me. And then you can still make out the Tetons out there in the distance, the Grand, the South, Middle, all hanging out there. Um, views up here are pretty mental. So we're here at Miriam Lake, and uh, it's pretty fucking spectacular. And uh, getting some water, gonna make some dinner, uh, and uh, probably call it a night. We traveled about, what did we do today? We traveled about 13 and a half miles, and uh, this is about right about the halfway point, just a hair past halfway for us to get the Teton Pass.
spent the night here up up on uh, where are we? We're up Marion Lake, and uh, we're gonna head uh, continue and heading south towards Teton Pass. And where's our next step? We're going through Granite Canyon here. We're gonna be on the backside of uh, Jackson Hole Mountain Resort. Uh, work our way down through Phillips Pass, and uh, finally. Uh, finally uh, into uh, Teton Pass. So it was a beautiful night last night. Stars were amazing. Uh, yeah, so we'll check in a little while. Cheers. So we just dropped into Moose Creek and we're in the southern heart of the uh, Teton Range, uh, dropping into uh, the drainage that uh, basically bleeds out either into uh, Idaho, which is the side that we're on, uh, or into Wyoming, uh, and then uh, butts up into the Snake uh, River Range. And so let's take a look at Pretty amazing. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, so we're like our low point in uh, Moose Creek Canyon, and uh, we're gonna begin our traverse. We kind of have an ascending traverse here. You can see the trail uh, heading up towards Phillips uh, Pass, and then in the background here, you got Mount Taylor and you got Mount. Uh, not Mount, you got Mesquite Divide. That's Mesquite Creek that comes down here. Coal Creek is on the other side with uh, Highway 22. So, uh, and getting closer to civilization, but still out here in the Jedediah Smith Wilderness. All right. Still working our way up to Phillips Pass, and uh, we're basically just doing this really big traverse of uh, of the Rendezvous uh, Massif, the Southern Rendezvous Massif. And so, uh, we'll check back in a little while. So we traveled about just under three miles, and we are we're in these beautiful big alpine meadows. Just kind of go on for days. We're on the backside of Jackson Hole Mountain Resort and um, head towards Teton Pass. We're gonna take a break here, soak it in a little bit. And uh, beautiful trail walking from the standpoint that the trails are really well maintained. There's not a whole lot of climbing. Um, a lot of big open, open meadow walking. Teton Crest Trail. Getting ready to leave Grand Teton National Park here and uh, head back into the Jedediah Smith Wilderness. So, enjoy the views. So just taking in some lunch in the middle fork of Granite Creek. Um, you can see Mount Hunt there in the background, which is on the north side of uh, which is on the north side of Granite Canyon. And then we got Ryan back there chowing down on some lunch and uh, just some really beautiful meadows. And then as I mentioned before, we're getting ready to leave Grand Teton National Park and head into uh, the forest again, back into the Jedediah Smith Wilderness. It's beautiful. So the video does this zero justice because to 
get up around these legs of of uh, rendezvous, these arms of rendezvous that come down into Moose Creek. You gotta come through these steep uh, traverses. This thing's like, it's literally like a 45 degree slope. Maybe a little bit better. It's steep. So it's like going up. So another steep section here. There's a few sick spots on the trail. This is definitely one of them. It's kind of outrageous view shed. Hey everybody, happy Sunday. Hope you're out enjoying church. Dropping down into Phillips Pass and gonna be flipping uh, watershed drainages as we're coming out of uh, Moose Creek. We're gonna be heading over uh, onto the uh, Wyoming side of things for the first time and onto the Jackson Hole side of things. And so, uh, yeah, Phillips Pass down there below us and uh, gonna go cruise through it and head over uh, into Teton Pass down to Phillips Bench. So we're back down in on Route 22 at the at Phillips Bench and on the Jackson Hole side of Teton Pass and uh, kind of concludes our trip here. And um, you can see it stays beautiful to the very last minute. We did about 11 miles today, just over, 
and uh, count that with yesterday that puts us just under 25 miles right around 5,000 vertical something like that we'll put up all of the uh, route details for you after this but thanks for watching appreciate you joining us and uh, more importantly we hope you get out and take the walk yourself